What's up, guys? My name is Black Man 62, and today I'll be teaching you how to drive a vehicle. Last time I went over this car right here, the Mazda RX-7 Drift Edition, but I thought I already went over how to drive a drift car. Now I'm also gonna have to go over how to drive a real car that's not a drift car. But also, I figured out. Why not teach you how to drive a bike? Now, I can't say I am the best at driving bikes, but I can certainly drive one. And I've been skilled enough to crash my bike driving no hands. And yeah, that was fun. Oh, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool. My dirt bike's faster than your car, bud. Alright, anyways. So to start out, Always make sure there's no one in your way, because you never know when you're going to crash or when something very bad is going to happen. So, first up, we start out as a, at a slow pace. Maybe use the, use, use the boost if you need to. Make sure you're going at a nice slow pace like this, right? Going as fast as you can. Make sure you're, you know, swerving across the lines of the road. So if a car hits you you can automatically sue them and then you can say it won't be your fault I was on the road now see that's why you want to drive really slow in my case over 150 miles per hour now second part of driving you always got to make sure you're really cool so when you start off driving you always got to make sure you do a wheelie first and you gotta make sure you do that for a little while, then you can speed off. Maybe do all that a lot, you know. Make sure everyone knows that you're there. And not do that. Also, the 50 foot backup. Alright. As you can tell, the 50 foot backup might take a little while, so you really don't need that. Why are you running? It's not like I'm gonna hit you. Anyways. Next part you need to know about par about driving a bike is parallel parking. And of course, parallel parking is not that hard. Especially when you can easily just go right to the place you want to go. And if someone hits your bike, you can sue them. Next. Oh, before I go, if you see any bikes on the side of the road that aren't motorized, just quickly go ahead and just... Oh, I missed that one. Just run them over, because they, they deserve to be on the road. Alright. Next up is the race part. How you brace a bike against a really fast car that 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 just went by? And I'm probably not gonna be able to speed up with this bike of this car here. Yeah, no, they're going way too fast. Slow down. And how you stop? You gotta make sure that you just ram right into something, and it'll stop you automatically. And look at this. Any harm to your bike? Nope, not one single scratch. Did you look at that? Wow. Next thing you have to know about is turning. So when you turn, you gotta make yourself known. So also, see this green line? That isn't just for regular bike riders, right? This isn't for cyclists, no. This is for people with motorized bikes. See, you see this? You see this? You see that? Does it look like he's pedaling? Or does it look like he has his feet up? Hold on. Does it look like he's pedaling or does it look like he has his feet up? Kinda looks like he's pedaling and he has a helmet on. All through your helmet. But. No one. Like I said. If you see a bike like this on the road. You run it over. Or in this case. You go like this. 
Can you make sure it's no more? Alright. So, always drive in the green lane. And make sure you run past, over, run over people when you are on the said motorcycle. And they are not on a motorcycle. So, taking turns. You gotta make sure you take your widest turn. So, if you're turning right, you start off left. And you go right. Maybe do a little... Oh, hit the wall. Yep, do a little bit of a 360 there and keep going. Oh, pop that another one. Who cares? You're on a bike. Yeah, you can wait. And you keep on going. Maneuvering through the lines. Make sure... Oh, yep, you hit, you hit the car, yep. Also, make sure you use as many side points as you can possible. Yep, and you do that. So far, I think you're getting the hang of this, and I think you're ready to take your test. So that's the video for today. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!